though we're going to be talking about Grand Theft Auto 6's story seemingly being shorter than that of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, what? Bro, y'all promise us big burdas, bro. Like, what happened? Shorter story? Now that's cap. Like the video if you know that's cap. What to expect from trailer number two and the latest update okay. on the map. We'll be diving into all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So let's start with the length of the story. Rockstar is known for giving us hours of content, especially yeah. with Red Dead Redemption 2, their last title, which probably was closer to around like a 60 to 80 to 90 hours. I still haven't had time to play RDR 2. Actually, you know what? I downloaded yesterday. I downloaded yesterday. Whenever I get the time, I will play because a lot of you guys have been saying that RDR2 is actually good. I need to play for sure. For story, depending on how much you did and how long you took for each mission and the level of depth you went in into the exploration. And I'm just talking about the main story content here. It's really hard to measure things like side quests and whatnot because that really can take a long time. Well, according to Legacy Killa HD, who what? apparently has some very reliable sources, he's been correct. Oh, shit. Oh, shit on several Rockstar things in the past. This is what he had to say. It's not as long from what I- Yeah, okay, to be honest. Ah, 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 what? Oh, shit. Oh, my God, bro. Why? Why, dog? It's probably 35 and 40 hours. You kidding me right now, dog? You kidding me? And and Legacy Killer, I know before anybody's like, you know, before anybody does that, Legacy Killer, I'm, I'm willing to believe him. I can trust him with my life. Definitely not my wife. Definitely not my wife, though, but my non-existing wife, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I do believe Legacy Killer because he's the first guy that did say the, you know, the, the actor that was, uh, you know, taking pictures at the beach. He was saying that he's going to be in GTA 6 or basically hyping us all up right before the trailer. And exactly right after we had the Lucia Bruna leaking out, you know, I'm talking about the September of 2022 leaks, the Jason actor, you know, everybody thought that he's going to be the Jason actor. And he was hyping everybody up and he was posting a lot of pictures. Legacy Killer, believe it or not, was the first guy that did say he is not going to and that turned out to be true. So I do believe he has some sources. And after all, he's a toxic gamer just like us. So. Heard probably 35 to 40 hours. Man. When someone asked about a source, he said, the only thing I'll add is that I heard this last year. And a Guys, little bit I can believe him. I can I can believe him. I trust him with this information with uh, with my life. Uh, definitely not my wife, though. Uh, but but I trust him with my with my life. Okay? More follow up going on to say, regardless, I have no idea on the exact length as things are still changing and I heard this last year. I just know that this isn't going to be an 80 to 90 hour main story as some seem to think. Your prediction of tons of side stuff probably is spot on though. Okay. So to me, okay. I just find this news a little bit unfortunate because I truly do believe that Red Dead Redemption 2 is the best single player game and story. You're technically like, if it's if it's like 30 to 40 hours, how many of you guys would be be mad? Would you be mad? Would you be mad? Or would you be happy with it? Because I've been reading some comments, some suckers are saying that I don't care about the story mode, bruh. I just care about the GTA 6 online, bruh. And I gotta say, that's a fake fan right there. Let's be real. And there are other people, and I've been reading so many comments, and suckers are saying that they need a hundred hours because this game should have been out and we have been waiting for 10 years. And to that, I agree. I definitely do agree. And others are saying, and others are saying, they are spending two billion dollars so so you're telling me you cannot do more than a hundred hours <laughs> and i'm like damn bro like 30 40 hours that's fat but is that fat enough that's my question too because i don't think it's fat enough. Guys. that not only rockstar has ever made honestly probably of all time and i would Agreed. pay for more of that game right now i thought the storytelling was amazing i thought the quest were so cool I want more of it. And so with Grand Theft Auto 6, knowing that I think Rockstar is just getting better and better and better at storytelling and giving us the content that's really enjoyable, I don't want to see any of that shortened. And that just might be a Grand Theft Auto thing. I feel like maybe Grand Theft Auto stories happen to be a little bit shorter, but I don't want people to panic, even though it might be a shorter story. Uh, 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 we panicking right now, bro. Like, what do you mean, dog? What do you mean, bro? than Red Dead Redemption 2. A, I don't think it's going to be filled with any less content. And B, in fact, I think it is going to be packed with a ton of Stranger and Freaks, a ton of side quests, so much stuff for us to do in this newly explored world of Vice City and Leonida set in modern times. I don't think we have anything to worry about here. And even though the story... Wrong! We worrying, man! We worrying if they're going to nerf the Lucia Borda or not, dog. Because if they do that... Because after all, bro, like you just... You just drop a SAR bomba on our expectations. 
Did you just drop a star bomba on our expectations by saying that the story is gonna be shorter than than RDR2? Right? So like bro, like it's Jor. Bro, it's Jor right now. Jason and Lucia, their Bonnie and Clyde-esque adventure might be shorter than what we saw with Arthur Morgan and the Man. Vandalin gang in Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't think it is going to disappoint. In I, I just hope that it's not shorter than Arthur Morgan BBC, bro. Like that's that's <laughs> Or correction, uh, my bad, B, uh, BWC maybe. Slightest. Now, speaking of yeah. that and coming from the same source, we have an update on the voice actor and likeness of Lucia. You guys remember we talked about that the other day. Yeah, uh, we got to talk about trailer number two, bro. Trailer that number two. That is Manny L. Perez. Well, this was seemingly also confirmed by Legacy Killer by saying, tweet isn't mysterious. This is her. She's Lucia. I'm just glad the community finally found her. So he is indeed confirming that Manny L. Perez yeah. is Lucia. And we also have some other interesting Strong. snippets of her essentially hinting at this as well. In another interview, she basically directly states that she's doing video game stuff. To Man, she is strong and independent. There's gonna be a whole lot of sims coming our way, bro. Like, Sega's gonna be demanding for that OnlyFans content. Sega's gonna be asking for that, for this, for that, for this, for that. I mean, come on, guys. Like, stop simping, bro. Don't chase the pom pom. Chase your dreams and smash the like button if you agree. Take a listen to this right here. Right now, I've been transitioning my career into voiceover and motion capture. And what's also interesting is Manny L. Perez had a role in a TV show called East New York as a character named Lucia Santiago. How okay. interesting is that? She played a character Dang. named Lucia Dang. and is going to be playing one in Grand Theft Auto 6. But anyways, let's move on to the latest version. To be honest, bro, like this scene, like Dennis looks like I show speed's birthday party. You know what I mean, right? It doesn't even look like a like a... I, I, I cannot say that word because, you know, I'm not alone. You guys know I'm C. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't even look like a SC, you know, SC. Yes, for, you, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? I just cannot say, guys, because I'm not alone right now. Six. But anyways, let's move on to the latest version of the Grand Theft Auto 6 map. This is the Vice City Mapping Project version 0.033. There's some uh -huh. new updates here that I want to dive into and talk about. The first is that the Rock Ridge area has been overhauled and some oh, of damn. the roads and buildings have been updated. So Rock oh, Ridge snap. is an area that's going to be north of Vice oh, City shit. International Airport and it's going to be... To be honest, that is amazing, though. First of all, I got to give credit to the people that worked on this because man over the years like holy i know like we had a lot of leaks and a lot of information a ton of them actually came true i know Wrong. i know it doesn't sound real but a ton of the leaks came true it just depends on what the source you were getting your information from the in the sources that i was getting my information from it, it turned out to be real right like a lot of the information turned out to be real and a lot of the information also turned out to be fake but what's crazy here is this that Man, people and community members got together and just based off of the trailer and the shots and the scenes from the trailer, they actually, you know, put all of this together, the the, the roads, and uh, they're making this map, and these things be giving us the map before Rockstar does, so W for that, man, W for that. The east of all the islands and Vice Beach, so it's kind of going to be a town just outside of the main city strip. It looks extremely busy, it looks like it's going to have a stadium, lots of different roads, access to the highways and whatnot. So and also, like this area this beach area like the wise beach area this the amount of get we're gonna have there the amount of bonus we're gonna have here if if the trailer is the actual representation of the game i'm just looking at that okay that i'm using that as my reference if that is true the amount of get that we're gonna have on this beach that's easily gonna take 200 gigs of space bro Bruh. 200 gigs and the game is most probably gonna be 250 50 gigs for the rest of the content 200 gigs for all the all the the, the beach uh, get there, bro. So it's definitely going to be a very populated area that on received God, a God. little bit of an update. And speaking of updates, the Vice City Metro Mule line also received an update. This wasn't something we saw in the trailer, but it was uh -huh. something we saw in the leaks. That's going to be one of the uh -huh. transportation methods around right. Vice City. In the very opening shot of the trailer, we saw what looks like a jail or a penitentiary. This is located in Hamlet. That received Man. a slight update, and it is actually ref Bro, this is where they're going to keep Lucia hostage, bro. Hashtag free the Bunda, guys. Hashtag free the Bunda. Of the shape of the jail. How wild is that that the talented guys creating this map are able to even get the shape of the penitentiary Crazy, down? Bro. Again, it's located right next to that sewage treatment plant and also right next to that highway, which of course is what we saw in the very first shot with the cars driving by. 
So that received a nice little update. And then more okay. buildings were added to the Washington Beach area, which is definitely one of the most populated and crowded areas in Vice City. There's going to be a ton going on here in terms of- Okay, let's talk about trailer two, bro. Let's talk about trailer two. Buildings, right, right condos, places to live, interiors to interact with. It's definitely gonna be one of the first places I check out. And then other uh -huh. than that, they added a bunch of speculative locations to the map, and they also fixed some scaling issues around the prison, motel, etc. So that is the latest update so far. Again, you can check out the Vice City mapping project in the description. Those guys are super nice. talented and do an amazing job of recreating what we know so far. Agreed, agreed. Ah, next, 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 next. Far of the GTA 6 map. Now, last but not least in this video today, what I want to talk about is what to expect for trailer number two. Mm, so we don't know when trailer number two is going to be coming out. We can only speculate that it's going to be 2020. <laughs> Bombo card. Uh, yeah, I mean, no cab. I mean, no she, bro. Like, we have, we, ex we also have been speculating that it's gonna be coming out in 2025. But okay, let's uh, let's hear the homie out. 24. And what can we expect from that? Based on what Rockstar did with GTA that it's going to be 2024 and what can we expect from that based on what rockstar did with gta 5 and what they did with red dead redemption 2 well for starters we're probably going to get more audio and dialogue from our two main characters jason and lucia jason has said one word trust lucia has said about 14 words she talked about bad luck and she talked about how jason has to trust her because in gta 5 second trailer we heard from michael we heard from amanda we heard yeah i do oh my god okay so honestly though i i do believe that we're gonna get the trailer number two if GTA 6 is really supposed to come out like fall of 2025, hopefully not. Hopefully it's early 2025, right? If it's gonna come out early 2025, I can see trailer number two probably June, J summer, let's just say, right? Summer of 2024. But however, if GTA 6 is supposed to come out by the end of 2025, let's just say September, October, or November, then we probably gonna get the trailer number two around October or November of 2024. That's just how I personally view it. And recently we had 200 gigabytes of leak that are going around oh, shit. for GTA 6 brand new leaks. Click on this video on the screen. On the left though, we have an insane gamer rich compilation. Check both of these videos out guys and I will see you right there.